here. So today I have my little pencil case here with me and I want to share it with you guys. I don't know if you're from this generation on YouTube or not, but a while back, like a few years back, there, it was all the hype to share what you have in your pencil case. This, I think this started with like makeup gurus and stuff where they share like what they take on the go or something. I'm not sure, but it started a whole thing here on our YouTube and people were sharing it. I loved seeing it because you get to know new art supplies. You get to see like what this artist takes on and go. I find it really interesting. I don't know why. <laughs> But I find it really interesting and I definitely think it should have like a comeback. Like we should definitely bring that back and like start sharing what we take with us all the time because I find that so intriguing. Like when you see a plein air artist, he's gonna, that person's gonna take something with them that a doodler and a sketcher isn't gonna take. It's, he's gonna take something else. So I wanna share with you guys what I've been using this past year. Um, on my old sketchbook now I'm taking advantage of this time to do this video because I'm this is gonna change Once I start my new sketchbook, which I haven't yet, but once I do start my new sketchbook I'm probably gonna change up everything that's in here. It's probably gonna be filled with Brushes and I don't know whatever pencils like colored pencils and stuff So this is gonna change and I'm probably gonna have to move into a bigger pouch um, and not this like clear Harry Potter pouch that I love so much. So I wanted to share this with you guys before it does change and before you do go into that. And if you like this video and you wanna see me do like an updated version in like six months, once I'm already like in a new sketchbook and painting more often and all of, all of that, which is what I'm planning to do anyways, um, let me know and I'll update you guys and let you see my, my like pouch from time to time. So this is usually what I take if I'm sketching doodling not doing any finished paintings or anything on my sketchbook if i'm going on vacation for like a week or something this is all i'm gonna take i'm not gonna take paints i'm not gonna take anything like that so what i mean with, with doodling and sketching is like sketchbooks like this where it's just literal doodles and sketches it's literally just sketches nothing finished nothing too detailed it's just me having fun in my sketchbook this is what i would take with me all the materials that i'm going to be mentioning today uh or at least the ones i find i'm gonna try and link down below so definitely check down below if you're looking for anything um that i mention okay so let's open this up and see what i got in here so right off the bat the first things i get out are these now usually i don't take both of them i did include both of them because i want to explain the difference these are the best sharpeners slash erasers you'll ever find if you find this in your local stores okay go buy them this year i'm probably not gonna find because this one's really old like it's seven eight maybe nine years old already um i think so yeah so what this is is it has like a sharpener on an end and it's the best sharpener i've ever used i know a lot of people are like sharpener is a sharpener it's not sharpener is not a sharpener um there are sharpeners that fuck up your brush, your your pencils. There are far sharpeners that take the tip out constantly. There are sharpeners that don't sharp sharp enough. <laughs> Say sharp three times fast, I dare you. So yeah, this one is the best sharpener ever. And here you'd used to have like a eraser that is fucking fantastic. It's finished already, this is old. So what I keep in here is my kneaded eraser all bunched. I fucked up. <laughs> what I keep in here is my kneaded eraser all bunched up um, so I can take it with me on the go. This is usually when I'm kind of using more like regular schmegular pencils you see what i mean because i don't usually use those so i like to have these with me i haven't been carrying it around that often because i haven't been using regular pencils that often but this one on the other hand i have been taking with me because i have a thicker pencil and this one is a dual one so it has the big and the small sharpeners again best sharpener i have ever had in my entire life 100 percent worth the money this is fucking spectacular let me tell you and this is the eraser that comes with it. It's a Swiss er white eraser and it is like very soft, but at the same time very hard. Um, and you can definitely buy these separate. I don't know if the monkey one you used to be able to do that, but right now you are. I This is an updated version. I got it the other day because I needed a bigger sharpener. It's really nice. I really like this one. Next up, let's see. We have mechanical pencils. I usually walk around with three of these and I'll explain why. So first off, I really like colored lead. So I usually walk around with the red one because that's the one I like. I bought these specifically because these leads are not like good for any other mechanical pencil. They'll clog your pencil up, they'll fuck your pencil up, but these mechanical pencils are really good for this lead. Never clogged, not once. And I used to use also purple lead, so this year I bought a new one on, not this year, past year, I bought a new one and it's really nice, it's really pretty, it's really new. So, 
yeah so these are the two colors that i usually use on my sketchbook and then i walk around with one with just regular lead this is an hb lead this is b lead i think it's 2b i keep a ton of them in here because i rarely take this on the go with me but these ones i usually carry the little things of lead which they're probably in my bag right now so these are the three mechanical pencils i always take with me still on the subject of pencils i always walk around with a regular pencil this is a Gryffindor pencil that I was gifted and a little eraser on the top. I really love these erasers Even though sometimes they stopped erasing correctly and you have to change them up But I really like them a lot. So yeah, you always need one right like I rarely use it But I when I need it I have it you know when and when I don't have it I always need it. So yeah next up and the last pencil I think in this case anyways um, is this favorite Castell dual tipped pencil this is in red and blue this is really nice for sketching a lot of like animators and stuff you use this it's very standard in like in the industry i use it just for it's it's one pencil i get two colors it's different colors to add to my sketchbook i just enjoy it plus it's thicker lines because it's not a mechanical pencil obviously so you do get to experiment a little bit more um and i just enjoy it a lot so i just have it with me next up i have a water brush now usually i don't carry this with me and i it's a recent add on to this pouch but this is really good for when you use charcoal pencils and you want to seal in the charcoal so it doesn't smudge as much in your sketchbook so keeping this around is very useful for that i've been sketching at home so i usually use a bigger brush but i started taking these with me everywhere i go just in case like i sketch something and i want to like cover it up this is new because it came on a watercolor set that my brother gave me for christmas so yeah it's barely used but it's still something that's useful to carry around with next up we have this gel pen my mom brought this for me from the philippines when she went like a bajillion years ago i never used it and this year i did i love it it's gel and it's like a really really fine tipped one it's amazing i love it um, it does clog, which is why recently I haven't been using it that much because it started to frustrate me trying to get smooth lines and then clogging up and then they just look like chicken scratches. So it's terrible, um, but it is definitely something that I carry around because it's still fun to use once in a while and for like freehand sketching, I like it. So yeah, I'm going to try and find alternatives to this that don't clog up as easily. So if you know of any, let me know in the comments down below. So another thing that I usually always carry with me are these Art & Graphic Twin Zig Markers. They're crazy expensive, a marker, but I really like them. So they're water-based, so you can get that little brush, water brush thing and like pass on top of this and it'll create like really nice things like i've literally had fun with this in previous sketchbooks i don't do it anymore but it is something that you can definitely do and i really like them they have like a brush tip on one side and a bullet tip on the other they're very beautiful they look amazing and they kind of they're very juicy markers so they leave like a, a similar to watercolor texture on your sketchbook when you're painting with them they look really bomb like they look amazing and i love them i have these two colors i have another one that's kind of I mean, so I haven't been carrying it around with me, but these are the two colors that I have with me They're also good to add like a pop of color to your sketchbook when you want to like emphasize a sketch or something It's very nice to walk around with these another art supply that is very simple But I always take with me are big pens. I always have pens with me. I love drawing with these They literally are like dying on me like I'm almost finished and I have a bajillion of these. I love them. I recently bought the metal version. This is supposed to be more eco-friendly. It even came in a recycle box and everything. And the concept is you have this little thing here, you pop it up and this pops out and you can change the cartridges and just keep the pen. I find this mechanic, this little detail kind of useless. It's stupid because you can just pull it out. It'll come off like everyone knows that, but whatever. The one thing I don't like about this is that the cap is plastic. This is still like plastic, plastic, like it bends. Um, I would prefer metal cap. I don't know, like if you're being conscientious, then don't plastic. Maybe it's recycled plastic. I don't know, but it is definitely clear plastic that was like spray painted. So yeah, maybe it didn't fit. Maybe they tried the metal way and it didn't like close correctly or it fucked up the pen. Maybe that's the case, but I really like it. It's very like chic looking. And it sounds really nice. So I actually really like this and I'm going to transition full time to only this. But I have older pens around so I'm going to use those up as well. But I really like this one. The reason I carry both is because like that one, I don't know what's different about the metal one. But it's the ink is a lot lighter than in the plastic one. Um, also like the tips are slightly different so maybe that's it. Um, so yeah, I don't know why. That's why I carry both of them. Reaching the end here, okay. So next up we have this Pigma Sensei 
marker this is in 0.6 millimeters um it looks like this it's a beautiful marker for freehand sketching or just sketching in general it's a very very dark ink and it looks fucking fantastic i had so much fun with this and i started freehand sketching a lot with this as well and like my spreads look really pretty <laughs> like if you want to see them i have them like on instagram or you can check the, ch the sketchbook tour um but they look amazing i really love this pen and mind you i've had this pen since like 2016 never used it never use it and you know, the, treasure, the treasures you might have sometimes and you never use. Another thing that I got this year and I've been loving and carrying it around with me all the time is a fountain pen. So I was watching Jess Carp's video when she went out in plein air draw and it was like this old timey hotel and she did it with like this and it really inspired me to like let me give it a try i started looking online for pens they were pretty expensive and i was like considering it i bought the cheapest one is faber castell i almost destroyed it first day i got it because no one tells you that this only takes water soluble ink like permanent ink clogs this shit up because it dries out and it clogs it so you can only use like normal ink uh, water-based ink and <laughs> I spent like two hours unclogging this first day first use okay okay anyways I've been loving this I have a ton of different colors of ink I had so much fun buying all the colors um and I really enjoyed this it's been a discovery and in my sketchbook like I just I use all of the colors I have blue red uh, turquoise purple black yeah and I've been having a lot of fun with all of them. Right now, I have the purple one on, and it's amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful purple. So, yeah. Also, writing with these pens, your writing looks so good. No one tells you that writing with these, they look so fantastic. Your writing looks amazing, spectacular. It's really nice. Okay, so next up, we have erasers. I usually carry these two, plus whichever one of these I take with me. But these are the two types of eraser I usually carry. So I carry a regular eraser. I don't even remember which one this is. Honestly, I'm just going through my eraser collection because I have a ton of unopened erasers and old erasers and tiny erasers. Like, you know, you know. If you know, you know. I prefer black erasers. They erase so much better than the white ones. But this brand really works well enough. So I'm just... I use it and then I have this one for finer detailing honestly I hate this one this is my by Muppet and I, I hate it it clock it's just it gets stuck it's really disgusting the eraser is annoying as hell I don't like these ones that much because the eraser is really flimsy but I carry these two around just to have options now the little bits and bobs that are left in the bag and we're done so i carry the two lead colors that i was telling you about i don't mix them but yeah i usually buy these in bulk and that's what i advise you to do if you want to try these out buy the pencils and buy these in bulk and then just put them all inside here because these come in like packs of six so i just mix just put them inside one of the boxes and yeah and lastly but not least we have a clip just to hold the sketchbook tight all sketchbooks become annoying at some point so i always carry a clip with me and yeah it's always very handy so that's my empty little case and uh all that i take with me if you guys have any art supplies that you absolutely love and you think i should give it a try or you like advise them to anyone let me know um whether they're sketching stuff or not let me and everyone else know like what you like what you prefer and yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, to subscribe, to follow me on my other socials, help a bitch out. I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!